Okay, Tony Kegger here. Summer Wrestling number 11. Uh, you're watching this video. It's Sunday. I did this video on Saturday night. But I've already posted one video on Saturday, so I want to post two videos on the same night. So this video got uploaded on Sunday. So week 11 at Summer Wrestling. This was Japan week. And it always in the Summer Wrestling, I got the description. I have the matches I watched this week. Matches, my top five matches of the week. Top five matches of the summer. I got all the rules about the summer wrestling, like what it is and how I'm doing this, this series. And this week, more than any week, check out the description because this is um, all Japanese matches and some of these names, I'm probably going to butcher some of these names and like, mispronounce something. So definitely, you know, use the description as your friend. Definitely, you know, follow the description while you watch this video. You know, make sure um understand what names here because I might not say these correctly but uh, yeah I wanted I have some DVDs of Japanese matches so I wanted to do um, a Japan week and this week is going to be all New Japan, New Japan Pro Wrestling I did that because I actually have like the top 20 New Japan Pro Wrestling matches of the 90's DVD and I've already watched some of them but I haven't watched all of them so I just figured it's a good way to watch most of the matches so I think I've seen like maybe 4 of them and now I've seen 11 after this week there's still like nine matches I've seen yet, but here we go. Let's go. Okay, first match I watched um, for this week was the Great Suzuki versus Wild Pegasus. Wild Pegasus was Chris Benoit. This was from April 16, 1994, the J Cup Finals. Uh, starting it off, starting it off with a great match to begin with. This was, um, you know. So um, my DVD I have at the five this set it is twenty but it's twenty matches in order from twenty to first. So this match was ranked number first. So I decided to watch the best match for the first match of this week. And I was uh, first time I saw this I was disappointed. I thought this match was overrated. Didn't get it. But um, so I originally gave it four stars. But I was so shocked that I was you know so disappointed that this match was bad. That I said like I have to watch this match again sometime because this match. First of all, I think I was tired, too tired, and so that's probably why I didn't like it. So I had to actually watch, had to watch it again. But but I decided to watch the other six matches first, and then you know watch the match again. So I watched the match again today, and um, I liked it a little better the second time. It's actually not the bad, not a bad match. Um, it just um the reason I like it because. Problem is, I, I've already heard reviews about this match. Everybody gives us five stars. So I went into the match thinking, like, this is going to be the greatest match I've ever seen. And when I saw, like, them do normal moves and normal stuff, it's like, okay, I mean, it's not a bad match, but, like, where's this, the awesome spots where it makes it five stars? So after I watched it again, um, you know, I understood, okay, this is a really good match, actually. But I w it still wasn't um, five stars. Like, you have four and a quarter stars. Just, um, you know, good wrestling. Some nice um, techno wrestling, good spots, but overall it was great. It was a good match, very good, but it was not a five star match to me. So four and a quarter stars, and that's a little bit generous, I think. I could have went lower, but four and a quarter sounds right to me. Okay, next match I saw another great Suzuki match. Great Suzuki versus Juzen Liger. This is from New Japan World Wrestling, as all all, all these matches are from July 8, 1994. This match I liked a little bit better than the first match I saw because um, this match was a little more, a little better spots at this match, more better, better. You know, I, was, I like spot fests and these ones had a little better spots. I like some of the near falls in this match, so I gave it the same rating as the other match. I gave it four and one four stars, but I liked this match a little bit better because I thought the spots were better and I liked the near falls in this match. Okay, next match I saw. Okay, this is gonna be a hard one to pronounce. Let me try this. Shinya Hashimoto versus Jenner, Jenneriko Ten, Ten, Tenru. Like I said, check the description. You get the names there. Hope I did okay with these names. This is from the G1 Climax from August 1st, 1998. So this is maybe one of the most recent matches on this DVD that they've watched. I give this match... Three and three four stars, really stiff match. I mean, awesome, like very violent. 
and I think there's only like maybe a few wrestling moves in the match. But you know, it was mostly like a lot of chops, some kicks, but it was like chop here, chop there, chop, 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 chop. You know, mostly chops and everything. It was, but it was fun to watch. You know, yeah, that's just fun to watch. They're being very stiff. So nice little slaps. I, I think I said in my last video. You know, maybe maybe I did maybe the line deleted. But I said I said before. I had a problem last week where I deleted, I made a video and I deleted it by mistake. So I did redo this. So I can't remember if I said this in the one that didn't get deleted or not. But I said that the match I like, I like matches that look real. I like stiff matches because they don't look fake, they look real. And I think the more real matches, the better it looks. So this match was very stiff. You know, I didn't, didn't quite, wasn't quite four stars. You know, a little bit too many, a little bit, not enough wrestling moves, just. Too, too much slash maybe, and it was only 15 minutes. I think I needed a little more time. Maybe than four stars. It just didn't feel like a four star match. So three and three fourths stars. What I gave it. Okay, here we go. Next match I saw. Um, El Samurai versus Koji Kane Moto. This is June 5th, 1997. Um, this match. Um, I like uh, this match was awesome. Just um. First, like, I don't know how long this match was, but the match is going on pretty good so far. In the beginning, it's like a four, I could tell it was going to be a four-star match with some, some good wrestling. And the thing about this this uh, match is, like, the heel, who I think was Kimoto this match, he, um, El Samurai is wearing a mask, and he rips El Samurai's mask off. And the crowd just boos that. You know, very great heel move. And then uh, after that happens, the match just gets so much awesome. Um, it... Kane Muro hits this sick like like Frankenstein off the top rope and he like spikes um El Samurai's head on the mat like guy could have like, got a you know concussion or something terrible. He got paralyzed. Some somehow like you know th th somehow that wasn't the finish. I mean somehow like I don't think they planned that way because that would look sick. Because if, if, if that was supposed to if that was supposed to happen like that that would have been finished because like. <laughs> There should be no way he still kicked out that, but some match continued and just some really good, um, good near falls. Some of these spots were great, and really like the this El Samurai did win. You know the baby face won. He got revenge for having his match ripped off. I mean the crowd was into it. It was a really fun match. Really, the last five minutes of this match is just great, awesome stuff. So I gave it four and a half stars. That was a really good story, but but you know. With the heel and baby face, and that was like it's hard to understand this, hard to understand these matches, the stories because of, you know it's Japanese commentary. I don't know these wrestlers, except most of you guys I never heard of them, so I don't know who's the face, who's the baby, who's the heel, and you can't understand the commentary. But this match, the way they told a story, you know it doesn't matter like what language you speak. You see a guy rip someone's mask off, you know right there that's like a heel move. <laughs> but so that was an awesome match. I liked it. Real good wrestling. I like this story about the mask being ripped off. Okay, next match. Uh, um, finally, some Americans in this. Um, I think they're from America. Some some Americans in this. Um, on this DVD, we got a Steiner Brothers versus um, Hiroshi Haas and Kensuke Sasaki, March twenty first, nineteen ninety one. I gave this was a uh, nineteen ninety one Wrestling Observer Match of the Year, and. The reason why they probably got matched here is because they did some cool stuff. I, w I never didn't see much wrestling in 1991 because I was like three years old. <laughs> but apparently, in this match, the rest of the match the movies are doing were like really like you know innovative for 1991. But I'm watching the match 2014, so the matches I'm seeing here they're they're awesome, but it's like not it's like um, nothing new. So, but I, I thought it was like a really good match. I gave it four stars, but you know, originally this guy was like, some people give us five stars. I don't know if it was that good. Maybe back in ninety one, this is the first time I saw. Any, if I saw nineteen ninety one, I would think like, oh my, this is so match is so awesome. But in two thousand fourteen, um, not so much. You know, the moves were good, but there's still spots are gotten so much better since nineteen ninety one. But I thought it was a really good match. Um, yeah. I think I want to say it was it was great. It wasn't it wasn't awesome. So four stars I feel is like good, good rating for this. So two matches to go. I'm already close to ten minutes. So I'll see if I hurry this up. Uh, Juzen Liger versus Shinjaro Otani. 
from February 9, 1997. Okay, so I gave this match three and three quarter stars. Okay, so let me say this. The 25 minute match, the last 10 minutes are really good. You know, the last 10 minutes are great. Definitely four star stuff in the last 10 minutes. So why is this a four star match? Because the first 15 minutes are just so boring. Just too much technical wrestling, too many rest holds. And a lot of these Japan matches were like that. They kind of got boring. They're not boring, but the last five minutes of all these matches were like really good. But this match was like the first 15 minutes was boring. Like, you know, really. I actually re read about this match before I watched it. It's about the same thing, how like um, it starts off boring. That doesn't say it starts off boring, but it starts off like as a technical match and then it changes later. The last 10 minutes were like are supposed to be really good. So that's what happened. Yeah, the first 15 minutes just very tactical, kind of boring. I had a hard time focusing. But then after that, it gets more exciting. Uh, I forget what he did. I forgot the spots he did in his match, but yeah, the spots get better. It's a lot more entertaining. But I couldn't give it four stars because those four. I had you know, even though the stuff they did in the last 10 minutes were great, awesome stuff. I just couldn't give it four stars because the first 15 minutes were so bad. Not bad, but just boring. That I had to like, you know, document. Like, you know, quarter of a star just because of that. So, three and three four stars. I couldn't get four stars. Last match uh, Ultimo Dragon versus Sinjaro Otani. So, it's two um, Sinjaro Otani matches in a row. Is it Sin? Shin, I can't pronounce it. Like I said, all names are in the description. So, if I'm messing up these names, check the description. Okay. So, SO. S is going to be your name. Versus Ultimo Dragon. This is from August 4th, 1996. Uh, this match, let me tell you about this match first. So, in the, I don't know how long this match was, maybe like 20 minutes. So, the first 15 minutes of the match is like good stuff. Nothing like spectacular, but it's good, you know, it's good wrestling. I was thinking like leaning towards giving me four stars. I thought that was a fair rating. So, then get the last five minutes, and they really start uh, picking up with the near falls and some of the good spots. Like, okay. So maybe four stars a little bit too long. Probably end up going four and a quarter stars for this match. But then the near falls get like ridiculous. And like um this SO guy, he's uh, his facial expressions are awesome and like how he's like really like trying to win and trying so hard to win this match and how he's getting so f upset because the, you know, Ultimate Dragon keeps kicking out. And some really like near good near falls. Like, I'm thinking, like, oh, this is the finish here. Like, no, he kicks out. Like, okay, here's another finish. Okay, that's the finish. No, he kicks out. And I'm, like, really, like, I'm on the edge of my seat almost literally. I'm, like, just glued to this match. And that's when I realized, like, okay, I'm I'm loving this match right now. And four and a, four, four and a quarter stars is not a fair rating. So I went four and a half. You know, just because. Yeah, four and a half just because even though the last five minutes are, like, so much better than the first 20 or first 15. But those last five minutes are so awesome that I was just, like, you know, glued to the TV. I was actually, I was really enjoying the match, and that's my match like that. That's when you know you gotta give it four and a half stars. When you're, I'm, you know, I give it four and a half stars because I feel I have to. I give it four and a half stars. I give it four and a half stars because I want to because I thought that match was so like entertaining and like I had to see what happened. I just wanted the match to keep going, and really if it kept going. I probably went up, could have gone up to five stars because it was, it was going in that direction. The only thing that stopped being a five star match was that it just it ended. But so okay, that was four and a half stars. Yeah, I should probably give it that high rating, but it, it deserves it for those last five minutes. So here we go, top five match of the week. Let's go with number five first. Um, so Steiner Brothers versus Hiroshi Haas and Kensuke Saki. So that's number five. Number four, Great Saki versus Wild Pegasus. A.K.A. Krishna Law. Number three, Great Sazuki versus Juzen Liger. Number two, Ultimo Dragon or Dragon, I don't know, versus Hinjaro S O Otani, A.K.A. S O. That's my nickname for him now, so it's easier to say. And then number one match of the week, and I gotta go with El Samurai versus Koji Kane Moto. Not because their names are easy to say, but because it was like a really good match. I liked it a lot. It's one of the matches I'd like to see again. Because I think I appreciate it more the second time. Okay, now my top five matches of the summer. Here we go. Number five. 
Uh, Dean Richards versus Eddie Edwards. Ring of Honor, Best of the World 2011. I gave that four and a half stars. Number four, a match I just reviewed today. El Samurai versus Kojo, Koji Kanemoto. Four and a half stars. Number three, the sixth man tag team match from ECW Barry Legal, 1997. Number two, Cactus Jack and Kevin Sullivan versus the Nasty Boys at Slamboree, 1994. It's a WCW pay per view. And my number one match of the summer, again, CM Punk versus Samoa Joe. The five star classic match. Five stars, in my opinion, in the opinion of many people. A lot of people think it's five stars. So do I. It's from Ring of Honor. The second match from their their trilogy of matches. That's my top five match of summer. Um, let me say something real quick about Japan Week. A lot of these matches are going to be hard to find because they're not, they're not in the WWE Network or anything or they're not really WWE matches. So, But luckily, I checked. Some of these will be on YouTube. If they're not on YouTube, do a Google search. You might be able to find them. And for the top match of the week, I will include the YouTube link for that match in the description. So if you want to see one match from this um, week, check out El Samurai vs. Uh, Koji Kanemoto. That link for that YouTube video will be in the description. They've got the full match. And it's a, it's a good match, so take a look at it. It's only like 20 minutes long or something. But yeah, I think it's a good match. See if you agree. And thanks for watching.